Howdy y'all, how's it going? Welcome back for another video. Looking at something pretty cool today. I think we've looked at something similar to this uh, well, a few months ago. And uh, this is trial racing in the UK. Sounds actually really awesome. Something right up my, right up my alley because uh, motorsports is obviously extremely fun as a spectator. But, you know, it's also like something you want to do sometimes, right? If you're a gearhead of any capacity. And while, quite frankly, a lot of motorsports are very expensive, you're not going to find me doing F1 or, you know, uh, big time WRC rally, uh, NASCAR, you know, anytime soon as it's uh, extremely expensive and not something you can just waltz on in and do. Well, you guys have taught me that this is a really cool motorsport that's relatively cheap and, uh, you know, you can technically use like, you know, you know, quote unquote, like any car to do it. Uh, this being a better video just because this course is really intense. It's like really steep. It's an S curve. That's what I was told. Uh, and this is video basically from the 2013 Cots World Clouds trial. Uh, this is from a channel called 190 VAF. It'll be linked in the description down below. So you can watch the whole thing uninterrupted as we're not going to watch the whole thing here. Uh, and of course, browser channel. I'm really excited for this actually, because like I said, this just sounds so cool. So let's go ahead and check it out. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. Ooh, they didn't make it. Oh my God, what is this? Look at him. <laughs> hey, it works. Rocket on the rear axle there. Okay, so first impressions, uh, you know, I always say this, this is way steeper than it looks. Camera makes everything look flat. I don't know why. You know, this is very steep in person. Not to mention it's very deep, you know, rutted in the center with these banks, right? Uh, and of course, it's an S curve. So, I mean, this is pretty tough. This is pretty tough, right? Uh, and the cool thing is, is we're in cars that look to be on street tires, so going in what looks to be kind of wet, kind of clay or mud um, in a car is just not easy. Like, you know, not as nearly as easy as it would be in a 4x4 truck, right? But in, in these conditions, it'd be slippery even in a truck. So especially in a car, this is kind of crazy, right? I love it. It doesn't make sense. You hear just cars revving, going flat out up here and trying to make it. I love it. It, it doesn't make any sense in the best way. <laughs> Ooh, that car did great. It almost looked like his tire was flat. I think you'd want to go with low air pressure, obviously, uh, to try and get any grip out of these things. They also have weight in the back, which is smart, because that's uh, car's obviously rear-wheel drive. I wonder, um, because I was told that in these events, four-wheel drive is not allowed, I wonder if rear-wheel drive would be better than front-wheel drive, because I think I remember the last video on a similar sport to this, uh, although it was a different course. Um, I, I think there was like a mix of front wheel drive and rear wheel drive. Right. That other course being easier though, this course looks way more difficult. As you see, a lot of cars are not making it. Oh, see, these would be good. The bugs or the beetles would be great because they're rear wheel drive and rear engine. So all the weights over the drive wheels there and they can just kind of mosey their way up. I feel like these would be good. Enough. Yeah. Although right here seems to be really tough right at the, the top of the hill. Look at that thing power through. And it's fun for me because a lot of these cars, I don't even recognize. So if any legends in the comments want to point out some cool cars that I missed, which is going to be most of them. Obviously, I knew the Beetle. Pretty much any of these cars, I don't know what they are. <laughs> Ooh, that one's cool. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. I like this one. <laughs> Dude, this looks hella fun, I swear. Is 
Very nice. Bravo. Whoa, look at this thing. <laughs> oh, you can see a uh, one wheel peel there on, uh, in this case, the driver's side. I believe these most of these are right hand drive, yeah? Yeah, not enough. Not enough grip. Ooh, what is this thing? Ooh, damn, they wrapped that to the moon. It's hard. I think uh, you're almost better off coming in kind of wide. And because you'll notice, if you know anything about off-roading, when you're in low traction and you turn the wheels, it almost is like an anchor. It just makes the vehicle stop, and it's that much harder to get traction. If you're already losing traction, that's going to pretty much be the nail in the coffin. You're going to get stuck. Uh, now, of course, you have to turn because I know this is an S-curve. It's sharp turns. But in reality, these are banked pretty hard, and I feel like they should ride the wide side here and try and turn the wheel as least as possible. Kind of let the terrain bring the car around, if that makes sense. Maybe easier said than done. That's just my armchair assessment here uh, because, you know, maybe there's like a wire here or, or a fence or some sort of natural barrier that I'm not seeing. I would try and ride this as wide as possible. Let that momentum carry you because I know when they get in the middle here, they start losing traction because it's very steep and slippery. And then I notice they turn the wheel and that kind of just, that's it, right? <laughs> it's just a very, see, he took it wide and there he, he got through. Now, of course, he got in a bad position where the front end got kind of locked on the bank here. The rear end slid out and then now he's, he's totally like uh, diagonal in this turn, which created a bad situation. And that's why it's challenging. That's why this is a cool motorsport. It's so different, right? It's so different than watching uh, traditional motorsports on track, but I love it. I love this stuff. That's why I'm surprised I've never seen this before until this year, like until I saw another video like this a few months ago. I freaking love this, dude. Why? If we have this in America, I don't know about it. If we don't have it, we are seriously missing out. What are we doing? And if we do have it, I need to find out where because... I want to try this. I want to take one of, my, one of my older cars and just whip it up here. It looks fun, man. Ooh. Hey, revving the... Revving the balls off that thing. Look at this. What is this thing? That almost looks like it would have been four-wheel drive, yeah? I, I don't know what it is. It's a weird looking car. Damn. Ooh, there we go. Nice. See, they had some good momentum. Yo, they are pushing some revs. There we go. Very nice. They're gonna make it as well. Or not. <laughs> I'm all for the attempt, huh? Ooh, what do we have here? That was a Ford? See, I love seeing cars from, like, the UK. I don't know, like, mostly any of them. I don't know what this would be. It's a smaller Ford, for sure. I just don't know. It's nothing like a Ford Probe we had here. It's nothing like even like a Ford Escort. I mean, our see, I know briefly about like Ford Escorts and different versions of it in Europe were a lot different than like the Ford Escorts we had here to an extent. I think, yeah, it's confusing because Ford has like so many divisions. They have, you know, Ford in Europe is a lot different than like Ford in Australia is a lot different than Ford in the U.S. They're kind of like all like different right that's pretty cool i wonder what that is uh that thing was revving to the moon that was kind of fun to watch but they did not make it and another beetle that this time did not make it either i imagine as this goes on it might get tougher too it's starting to look like it's getting really dug out you know it's uh it's still kind of wet <laughs> yeah that's tough 
There we go. Wow. He cruised on through. Ooh, there we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> he was way up. It's another Ford. There we go. I hear the clapping. I'll join in. That was a hell of a run. He came way up that high side and swung down and conquered that second turn, which is hard to do. Very nice. Full send. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, hey, he didn't make it, but he made one hell of a good burnout. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They cut the cam, but we saw he was going to roll. Uh oh. <laughs> that almost looks like uh, might be a BMW. Yeah, you see the kidney grills there? I'm not sure. I'm in for an education on. A lot of these cars, man. And that looks like a Beetle, but different in front. Hey, it's a Beetle, though. Yeah, it's got to be. They made it, that's for sure. <laughs> Ooh, here we go, here we go. They got it. Nice. Well, I wonder what the secret is. We have a lot of similar cars that don't make it, and then a lot of similar cars to the ones that don't make it that do make it. Uh, I'm going to guess uh, it comes down to just tires, right? Um, I know it doesn't look like any of them have off-road tires, right? They're just street tires. Uh, that's what it looks like. You know, it might come down to just positioning uh, technique by the driver, of course. And then uh, maybe think little details like tire pressure and uh, the weight distribution of the car, like if they have some weight over the drive wheels. You know, uh, these little details probably add up to help make the difference between cars that make it and cars that don't. Regardless, very, very enjoyable and fun. Motorsport, I love it. This is why I love this channel, why I love, uh, you know, motorsports in general because... <laughs> You know, you could see the craziest helmet cams, you know, 4K HD, Formula One, you know, time trials are just, or, or qualifying laps or whatever the case, uh, you know, that is just exhilarating and wild uh, and uh, something that, you know, most people will just never experience, although it's pretty cool we get to experience digitally to an extent. Uh, you know, to the craziest high-speed rally, you know, jumping through the forest in Finland and stuff. Uh to, you know, I like an ass car, an Indy car, and, uh, you know, various forms of motorsport over here. But I also love grassroots, down and dirty, and, uh, you know, interesting motorsports. You know, we just saw a sidecar motocross the other day. What the hell is that, right? Sounds absolutely crazy. Um, and, you know, we've seen these trials. Like, this is this is my favorite trials video. I've only seen the one other one. This one was even better just because I like this course better. I think it's very, like, uh, intense. And, and difficult, and it's fun because it's a roll of the dice. Every competitor, it's like, will they get up or will they get stuck? Uh, I think it's just so fun. And this one, I really, really want to try. I'm not even kidding. I would love to try this. This just sounds so fun. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's really, really cool. I do appreciate uh, all the education and suggestions and uh, discussion you guys always have in the comments. Yeah, I hope to see you down there. This was freaking awesome. So me linked in the description down below. We only watched uh, about half of this or even less. So make sure to check them out and browse their stuff. Really, really fun. Throw a like on there if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here. And uh, that's about it for this one, y'all. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time. I gotta find me one of these events near me. Probably won't. <laughs> I'll catch you later.